Hey, what's up everyone? Alex here, and today I'm going to be introducing to you an Othello uh, app that actually helps you to review your games. And I think, you know, looking at the performance of it, I think it's probably one of the most, uh, if not, you know, one of the more, uh, if not the most um, powerful software in Othello so far that I've seen. So this is the SAIO app, S-A-I-O uh, A-P-P. So just a quick background, uh, let me just click into it. Um, this is something that you can find both on the Apple Store and the Android Store. And uh, I think it costs somewhere between, I think it's around $27 Singapore dollars, maybe some 20 US dollars to download the basic app. And I think for the full library, which is the full developed lines, uh, book lines in terms of your software, it's some 77 Singapore dollars. And I think that's roughly about uh, probably three times uh, what you expect to pay for the app cost. So um, 20 and 60 US dollars or so. So I think it, once you pay 80 US dollars, you get the full library. So um, if you just download the app, basically uh, you would see a few kind of gray tabs here. There's the tools over here. This is the tools tab, the game tab, the archive tab. Uh, and then you can search for games here, and then there's the options tab. And over here, um, if you just download the app, you'll probably see um, your library is incomplete, and it's just like the normal library. And then for mine, since I've already downloaded a full library, it's uh, just showing an option of maybe redownloading the, re the full library. So over here, um, you have a few options. You can probably choose like um, the depth of search of how far you want to search in terms of the number of moves. And then you also have your end game solve, which is kind of the kind of basic prescribed uh, options. And if you go to show advanced options, you'll be able to look at even more options. So um, just a little bit on the setup, there's a threads use, which is kind of compatible with the number of cores of your uh, hardware that you're using. For iPad, I think the recommended is six threads. And then hash table bits, uh, it's 21. So it's just for your performance settings. And then um, if you just look through the options, uh, you can see different options. So I'll probably run through more in detail uh, in the next few episodes um, of SEO app review. So over here um, is just the default options, recommended options. And then you can also show debug tools. So under show debug tools, uh, basically over here, it's about the getting the full library. So if you wanted to download a full library, you would have to come over here and try to look for it. And then essentially um, over here, you'll be able to install your full library, uh, which includes all the lines. So let me just go back to the game option. So what do I mean by the full library? If you just look at the app itself, you go click on game mode and you move to library. Over here, library will show you the 16 moves to play, bracket minus two uh, is the confidence uh, level in terms of the rating. Of course, the first move is uh, in theory uh, plus zero. Plus zero basically means in theory, if both players play perfect um, from here, it would end up with a result of a draw. And 260,125, that number represents the number of draw lines that they found in the library. And 643,881,129, I think that's the number of uh, lines or, or, you know, the nodes that they actually uh, run through. So as you click on, you know, you can click on any move, of course. If Let's say you click on this orientation. You can see it's interesting for the first move for white. Um, they are saying actually for parallel opening in the best case scenario, it's a minus eight opening. And then for um, perpendicular and diagonal, it's plus zero, which we probably all know. And in terms of the number of draw lines found, you can see for diagonal, it's actually a lot more than perpendicular. And even the number of lines in diagonal, you can see it's 410 million. In perpendicular, you can see it's 227 million. So in diagonal, there are actually more or less like maybe approximately double the lines available. And then with parallel, you can see it's just uh, 6.8 uh, million over here compared to the ones that you can see in diagonal and perpendicular. So definitely in terms of the number of variations, just by uh, statistically looking at the numbers, you would see that um, 
obviously perpendicular and diagonal gives you a lot more options to play. And I think for diagonal, there are a lot more ways to play the game. So it really depends on what's your strategy, whether you want to um, keep it fairly expanded, potentially out of book, or would you want to keep it within a more narrow range. So I think that's uh, for the library mode. And in terms of the more detailed modes, uh, I'll probably cover it uh, a little bit more in the future episodes in terms of each uh, activity, like each uh, review aspect that you can probably cover. So um, this is just the kind of introduction to the Sayo app. It's uh, well known to be one of the most uh, you know powerful engines and, and application right now for Otello. And probably potentially with the size of a 30 gigabyte library at this point in time, uh, it's definitely one of the most expanded book uh, lines. So it was developed by um, an Italian developer by the name of Romano Benedetto. One. So yeah, definitely go and download it. Although um, there are other apps for reviewing Othello, but I think this one is probably by far one of the most uh, user-friendly and also uh, very in-depth in terms of its development. And I think in terms of language, it's also available in multiple languages and it's continuously being developed and uh, further in terms of the book line. So yeah, I highly encourage everyone to download this app and happy Otheloing. Thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you at the next episode. Goodbye.